applause and a welcome to Wouter. We are uh, Sunshine and uh, we uh, develop uh, yeah, mostly uh, intelligent products. Uh, we do them for mainly uh, international clients and also uh, some smaller Dutch clients and also some startups. We get a lot of portfolios um, and I can show you maybe uh, a small list of, of what we had last year, but there are sort of 10 something a week. Uh, our selection process is because we get so many, uh, I tend to have to go through them and um, they're put in, a, in one folder. Um, so and I go them once a week, I go through them and I sort of click through the first pages. And if it's not interesting for me at that moment, I, yeah, I don't have time to explore the whole uh, portfolio. So then I'm sort of already um, not, yeah. So th that was your chance and that's gone. And then so yeah, you go into our folder and it, um, they get a, a yeah, thank you mail. It's sorry to say, but it, but uh, there's a lot of competition, not only from uh, from Netherlands, but a lot of uh, also from Europe, and also from outside of uh, Europe. But we tend to stay yeah more into Europe because otherwise you have to do a lot of uh, paperwork and that kind of thing. So um, we tend to stick to European uh, uh, applicants. Um, but we really look for yeah skills that we can use. So if you if you look at our uh, portfolio and our, our website. A lot of those uh, images are also made by interns <laughs> uh, because they have time to do it and, uh, and, and it's often done uh, a bit later than, uh, than the project itself. Um, but it's, it's very, very important that you can present your stuff well. The most important thing I think so, uh, even is the application email um, because it's, it sort of says a lot about you. Um, make sure that you create your own web uh, email. So have a, a, a nice uh, uh, article, your your um, signature in the bottom. That w that it, it gives all the information. Your your name, um, your telephone number, uh, your email, um, and all the other things that, that are needed if you want to contact you. Um, so spend a lot of time on just creating the basic uh, layout of your email, and then the information. Uh, all those things need to be in there. Um, why you want to be there, um, when, uh, what you've done, which, which college you're from. Often you, have a, you, you get people, yeah, I've, I've done industrial design at somewhere. They have a sort of a name and you don't know where it is, you don't have a link to, the, to their, uh, if, uh, to their um, education. Uh, so you don't know what the background of the people is. So all those things add up if you're already giving all the information I I before I need to ask or I need to think about it. That's already, you think about the work you do, uh, how you present yourself. Um, so make sure that you, all those things are in there and are uh, 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 well um, specified. And another thing is that uh, I always like to see links to uh, your, your, um, where, where your uh, education is from and then maybe other things that may be interesting um, that you've done. If you've done uh, uh, an internship somewhere, that's always nice to see where the internship is. And I haven't even seen, looked at a portfolio, but then it, it sort of, it, it creates the expectation uh, of, of somebody that might be interesting or not. It's sort of, uh, so it would really take a lot of uh, time <coughs> and effort to do this well. And then your portfolio. Um, yeah, I basically prefer PDFs than uh, websites. Because I think a PDF itself is much easier to uh, make sure that the, the, the layouts are, are correct um, and you make a nice, nice story about the whole project. And a, lo a lot of the um, uh, websites, it's very hard to get a real nice story going. Because every project really, in my view, needs to have, at first it needs to have the problem. What is the problem you want to solve? And then it needs to show what kind of analysis you've done and all the different ideas you had, and the whole process needs to be shown, I think, if you do well, if you do well. Um, and, and, and when it's a real nice project, it's really nice graphically done, and it's also uh, very logical and it's quite easy to go through. Um, and the text, uh, I would limit it to, uh, I don't know, four or five, just the very basic uh, information. Uh, anything else won't be read anyway. So this is one of the introduction pages that I like. Um, I like. Uh, I don't like the picture that much it, itself, but the, fa the fact that how you introduce itself, 
he really specifies it to the to the company where he wants to apply to, and he really writes a nice story. Um, and that yeah. why me? A lot of people say I like your company because uh, a story, of, but it's much more interesting to tell about why you should be the one that they choose because that's what we are interested in. We're not interested in all those people that uh, want to uh, have an internship at our place, but it's about why would you sh we should choose you. And that's something that he really uh, got, got in wrong. So you can read it uh, if you ever send a presentation later. Um, and maybe not everything is very... Uh, but I thought it was uh, quite nice. So he, uh, he got on the ship. Uh, this is another thing that he did, and was, that was one of the things that I triggered. And maybe it's, it could be done better, but it's the, the whole basic idea is just this... The ESA fee is just one timeline with a few blocks in there. And it gives you all the information, it's very quickly to read, and it is very thought of. Thought of. This is one of the things that I thought lately was, was one that I, uh, I thought was very nice. And here's what I, I'm showing this because I want to express why I think um, uh, what he did, why it's, it's good. Um, so basically what he's done is he, he created a very minimal layout, but very sort of uh, very easy. And I think the text here is already way really too much, but uh, that's it. Uh, yeah. But he made a few pictures and he gave a sort of an, a, a, a feel about what, what is he trying to, uh, to solve. And then just one very nice sketch. I don't know how long it take him, took him to, to make it, but it just looks good. He knows what he needs to draw. Uh, and some renderings of the, of the project. Nice. And there's no technical things in there. It's just very simple. But uh, I think it would be nicer if he could, could give a bit more about the technique in, in there. Uh, all right, so that's uh, basically my advice on the, on the, on the portfolios. Um, anybody else has any questions? Yes? Yeah.